spooky. You have like a foot long piece of grass sticking out of your beak. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a farmer with a piece of wheat. Yeah. I got it. Well, yeah, I know. That was rude. All right, we had a great time outside. And I got the tarp on. There was a lot of swearing involved. <laughs> a lot of swearing. So I tried to put it the other direction with just this um, silver side on the, on the inside and then the fold out here on the outside. And when I tried that, it just wouldn't line up right. So I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know. I'm still not super happy with it because even having that black at the bottom makes it kind of dark. But it is lighter in here than it was last winter. Last winter I had just the black part of the tarp on the inside here instead of the silver. I don't know what these two think is going on, but maybe they're here to supervise. I am putting up the plastic uh, to help protect from wind, rain, snow. I don't need to block this off because I had that building and I was planning on putting plastic on that side of the wooden uh, chicken run that will also help with wind coming from the southeast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to staple this to that wooden frame and the bottom and then I will continue putting the uh, zip ties around the top. So you know if you have a dog kennel or something like this it's so easy it's like oh my gosh you know I'm so glad I thought of this last year. The heavy duty or any shower curtain right comes with the holes so you just use zip ties and blammo and then when you're done next year you just cut them off and take it down and throw it away. And then it's best if you have something on the bottom. So last year Michael and I had to put some work in and more him than me because he has the arm strength but I would sit on the other side and hold the two by four in place on that side while he drilled uh, the, the screws in from this side. So with this plastic, all I'm going to do is staple it to the outside and that will help it from flying in. Otherwise, can you imagine chickens flying everywhere, chaos, you know, the world is ending. And it looks like Trinity and Phoenix are not going to supervise me. <laughs> Sweet pea, how are you? There she is. Trinity's in the compost. Okay, here is my first section done. You can hardly see it, huh? Well, you can see it if you look at the top here. It comes around here. And, you know, I just use this regular little stapler because I can't use the ginormous one. And I have to use pliers. <laughs> I have to use pliers to grab a hold of the end of this so I can tighten it. Apparently, I do not have finger strength either. How come you guys are in here? You know, this food and you have been in here all day. <sighs> Sweepy. You're gonna get in there. Oh no. Get down. She's starting to get used to me coming over here and saying, no, no, come on. Thank you. All right, I switched up the tarp. Oh yeah, see, this is the first time I really just looked at it. That's a lot better. See how bright it is in here now? And I'll be able to see, you know, when, when chickens are on the ground or on the perch, I'll be able to see them with this background. It's a little, it's a little funky because of the way it's folded, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Sweepy, you're in the water dish. 
which is empty. It's just about sunset. I put up the second shower curtain. This is exactly where it was last year. So this shower curtain here is facing the southeast. So there's the east over there. And then this is facing the southwest. But there's also that fence there. I am, I think I'm gonna put another curtain right here to go along where those two by fours are down there. Just thinking that's gonna help with snow drift. And I might as well do it, right? Oop. I put some plastic here on the wooden run. This is just to help with wind coming in this way and some, you know, rain. I didn't add it to the top because I thought, yeah, I don't, I don't really like the idea of completely enclosing it. So there'll still be airflow. I have the option of putting plastic here. Now I did that last year and I guess the year before underneath the other coop but I don't really know if it's necessary so I'm gonna wait and see if it's if I really need it here they come Phoenix is just following this cloud everywhere wherever you go I'm going all right let's let's get the door open we're gonna have to go around it here we go go in Miss Cloud Miss Cloud Could you go, go around the door and go in? Thank you. Shadow. <laughs> Phoenix, what the heck are you doing, woman? 